Hello, it's Sarah, and I figured I'd share how I'm going to highlight these things. I got a couple questions. I'm actually going to dry brush them. So you see how that heart has a total shine on it? Well, to do that, I'm going to use these brushes, and these are actually um, by Debbie Cole, and she's an acrylic painter. Um, I don't think I took a class with her, and I think I probably just bought these online, but she paints a lot of teddy bears and different stuff, and she uses these brushes to get her shines and highlights. So all you have to do when you have, it's a stiff bristle brush, <clears throat> um, and you do a dry brush technique. So you want to, I'm not going to add water to my brush for a change. Um, I'm just going to go into the paint with a dry brush and I'm using white and I just put it in there and then I'm going to pounce it on my palette and then I'm going to come over to a dry paper towel, pounce it on that and kind of brush off the paint. <clears throat> so I really don't want any wetness on the bristles and let's see what happens. I'm going to highlight the left sides of these. Um, no, I'm going to do the right this time. And you just gently start to rub and let the white paint kind of work its way onto the surface. And it's a subtle, slow process. So don't push too hard and don't get impatient, which is hard for me. But look, we can start to see it. And it is working. And that is a dry brush highlight. So you can see that now. I'm going to see what I have left on my brush. And I'm going to do this part as well. And I'm starting to push harder which isn't what you're supposed to do because you'll get a halo effect. Because I'm rubbing so hard in the middle, those won't even affect the wood and it'll only come off from the other bristles on the edge. So I'm gonna reload my brush. I'm just keeping it as dry as possible. I'm gonna go back into that puddle, pounce it on my palette, and go to my dry paper towel and pounce that wet color off there. And I'm going to gently, gently start to rub the brush onto the surface. Really light touch. And I'm going to put it on its end because that's really where I push the paint onto the bristles. And I can see it. It's starting to work. I also highlighted, and I'll show you on the um, leaves, with floats. And that's... Uh, another way to do it. I absolutely highlight and I use flip floats a lot when I want to get a, some color on the inside of a piece like this but for these hearts it just kind of makes them look puffy when you do it <sighs> this way. So see that one? Now that has a shine and might as well keep to the side of but I still think I want to reload although I have quite a bit of paint. It looks like it's working but I have started to put a little more pressure and that's basically a dry brushed highlight. That's the way I do it anyway. I don't know how other people do it. This is the way I do it. Okay, but you can absolutely see that they look highlighted. I'm also going to put a little bit of this on my leaves over here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go into that paint, pounce it on my palette, take the dry paper towel and wipe the paint off. And I'm going to, you can see how I highlighted with yellow, but I'm going to gently put some white on there too. Kind of along the edge and you can see it. And on this side too. I'm kind of down the middle of the stem. I think that's good. I don't want to get crazy with it. Um, where else? Oh, on the butterfly. I can put it right down the body and on his head too. And these come in all different sizes so that if you have smaller pieces, now I might go back in and just shade one more time down there to separate that out because it kind of got um, a little too much on there, but I like it. 
I had maybe a little bit too much paint on my brush, um, but it looks cool. So I'll just touch, retouch some of these areas that I've kind of put it onto the shading area because my brush is a little big. And don't be afraid to wipe it away with your finger or a, I'm going to take it off there actually. But that looks cool. Maybe I can even take it away. Yeah, no, I shouldn't have. I should have just floated over it. Because a dry brush is a dry brush. You don't want to add water to it. It just changes the way it looks. I mean, actually, that looks okay. I'm not hating it. All right, you guys, that's basically it. I just wanted to come back and show you that. The last little thing that I do on these pieces is uh, this vining. Actually, and then it gets spattered, too. Um, on the original piece, you can see that there's spatter on here, all the little, I know there's a reflection from the picture, but you see all the spatter marks, little tiny paint spatter all over it. I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing that and adding my viney tendrils to these pieces and these will be done. So, all right, you guys, I just wanted to share that. See, that looks good. Everything's all shined up. See, I put the um, the highlight on those leaves. Let's see what this one looks like. Yep, I put it on there too. And this was the one I just did. It looks pretty good. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.